The BCC Optical Stabilizer filter enables you to stabilize shaky video footage. The optical stabilizer uses optical flow technology to analyze a specific region to determine the movement of the camera and then adjust the clip's position to compensate. Depending on filter parameter settings, the motion in the clip will either be smoothed or completely locked down. Unlike many image stabilization tools, the BCC optical stabilizer does not require you to set user-defined tracking points. This is useful for images where tracking data is unreliable. Because the very nature of post-camera image stabilization causes the image to be cropped, this filter includes post-image stabilization options to fill the blank areas around the frame, such as repeating the pixels along the edge of the image or reflecting them. You can also select to make them a solid color or make them transparent. The filter also includes an auto scale feature. Auto scale automatically transforms scales the image so that it fills the frame across time and includes seven transform scale algorithms ensuring optimal post image sharpness. So let's get started by loading the clip that we need to stabilize into our source monitor. I have trimmed the clip to about five seconds and now dragging it into the timeline. As I scrub through the clip, notice the motion in the clip. It has translation along the X and Y axis. There's even some rotation and a slight zoom towards the end. A good candidate for the BCC optical stabilizer. Now we have two options available to us in this filter. One is to smooth the movement, making it less jerky and more fluid, like the result we would have if we had used a Steadicam apparatus. The other option is to stabilize, which generates a tripod lockdown result. We'll take a look at both, but first we need to analyze the media. So let's apply the BCC optical stabilizer filter by dragging it onto the clip. And going into the filter control menu, you can see the click to analyze button. I will just hit that and you get a progress bar telling you what frame is being analyzed and about how much time is remaining. You can cancel this process at any time and then go back and analyze it right where you left off. So, now that we have recovered the camera motion, we need to determine what we want to do with it. First, let's take a look at the motion that the filter detected in the clip. Click on the mode pop-up and select show vectors. Now you'll see a lot of red dots and lines appearing on your canvas window. The red dots indicate areas where little or no motion was detected, and the lines indicate that motion was detected. The amount and direction of the motion is indicated by the length and angle of the lines. As we drag through the timeline, notice how the motion vectors change. Next, we are going to click on the mode pop-up again and select Smooth. This will smooth out the camera motion, delivering a result that is like the result we would expect with a Steadicam apparatus. And for the smoothest possible result, we'll set the smoothing range to extend to the entire clip. So we're going to change smoothing range to 100. Next, we need to remove not only the translation, but also the rotation and zooming in the clip. And we can set that in the Stabilize pop-up, changing from translation to translation plus rotation and zoom. Notice as I drag through the timeline that the movement in the image appears less jerky and has a very natural, smooth, and fluid motion, but that it's not locked down. For many clips, this is enough. For some clips, though, we want to totally lock down the camera so that there is no movement whatsoever. To achieve this result, we need to change the mode pop-up again to Stabilize. Now as we drag through the timeline, you can see that the clip is indeed in a totally locked down state, just as if we had filmed this with a camera that was mounted on a tripod on a steady surface. Only we didn't. We used the BCC Optical Stabilizer to do this for us automatically. Another observation that we can make is that there are black edges in the frame, which is the inevitable result of locking down the clip. However, there are automated scaling tools built into the filter to compensate, not only for the black edges, but also for the overall image sharpness. Whenever we perform a transform scale to any image in any host, the image suffers from a slight degradation. To resolve this and restore the image back to its original sharpness levels requires the use of sharpening algorithms. Let's see how BCC handles auto-scaling and image sharpness. Twirl down the post-processing group 
and enable auto scale. Auto scale uses the pixel motion data recovered from the optical flow to determine how much the image must be scaled to fill the frame. And as you can see, it eliminates the black frame throughout the entire clip. Now let's look at the image sharpness. Click on the quality pop up and select standard. Or for even better image quality, select magic smooth. So, now that we have the image locked down and have restored the post-transform image sharpness, let's render the result. So, that concludes the tutorial for today. For more information on this or other Boris products, or to download a free fully functioning trial version, visit our website at borisfx.com.